Fortune there, the gates down and away they go. That was ultra quick. They're caught out by surprise. It's only caught some of them both. And it's Stuart Brown in third place. Stuart Brown in third. That Luca have got a cracker as well. Stuart Brown went a little bit wide, but it's Arnold Jerkins. Arnold Jerkins and Robbie Bax leading the number 10 crew. So it's Belgian Dutch pairing out in front. Arna Jerkins and Robbie Bax, who were going so well in qualifying yesterday, lead round the first. David Sanders has gone with him. Where's Van Lukenov? Was he there? I can see Stuart Brown struggling round that bend at the bottom. This is eminently rideable now, this track, it's, isn't it? it? I'm amazed. It is really rideable, and there is lots of grip out there. Um, as I said earlier on, underfoot is very, very hard underneath. But, um, so hopefully, uh, everything can stay this way and we can have some track and race. Well, interesting stuff. The Czech Grand Prix is on here looking at the inside. Marvin Van Nuken almost alongside Arna Dierkins. Giro's had a win. Veldman, who's not here, has had a win. Hermans has had a win and Bax has had three wins. So he's on a hat trick. But he's not got all oh, this is go the inside. It's got him this time. That's it. Yeah. That, that's the opportunity. Yeah. Van Lucana on yeah. the inside line. And he's stolen a march now on Arne Dierkins and Robbie Bax. He knew what he had to do. He had to go for it. And that, Steve, was about bravery off that trump. Yeah, yeah. You could see him set himself up. He, he'd had a look at it a couple of laps before, then had gone for it this time. Sanders in the blue. Etienne Bax, Kasper Stupel is there. Stupel is hanging on for grim death. Behind him, Kern, Kern Hermes. So now we've got a, an eight, a, plus a 12 wheel. I was going to say an eight, but Bax looking for the inside. Is Bax going to get the pad on on the inside of Sanders? That was a tricky move. I understand why he did it, but he could easily have tripped himself up there. He certainly could, and I think that's about the only place that you will try uh, get an overtake. Etienne Bax is doing everything he can because he knows Kern Hermans is breathing down his neck. In fact, Kern Hermans is alongside, over the jump, side by side, almost. Is Hermans going to go up the inside? Sorry to cut across you, mate. That's OK, yeah, and Hermans goes for the inside. No, not this time, not quite. Not now. Sanders is by him. Bax has got to get by him as well, as quickly as possible. And he's going to go around that outside line. Trying which to get he inside. Oh, score. great stuff. Oh dear, Casper Stupelis had to sit up then <laughs> to avoid getting hooked on the handlebar. So Van Luken are now two more corners, one little tabletop, then the left hand of the tricky little left hand. A thumbs up, you can see there from the appreciative crowd. This is going to be victory. Three victories in a row here at Kremlin for Marvin Van Luken and Ben van der Bogart. Let's see, as they come over, we'll be looking for Arna Dierkins, the number 10. And uh, they're all out here, they're all chasing through. Still, Bax is in that position. Yeah, so next one over should be Arne Dierkins. Fantastic ride for second, Davy Sanders for third, Bax for four, and fifth is Hermans. Well, he's still got the championship lead. Great runner-up spot for Arne Dierkins and Robbie Bax. Watch them now, the revs rise. A little bit of tension as the gate jump, as the gate stuck in the middle there. Somebody got stuck by hitting the gate, but oh, it's Arne Dierkins again. Arne Dierkins, Davy Sanders flying through. Etienne Bax is about six. Oh, he's in trouble here. Bax, he's got to work now. Where did Van Lukena go? But certainly Arne Dierkins got an absolute flyer again, the number 10. End of lap three, Jerkins then, it is. From Davy Sanders, then we know it's the number two of Kern Hermans, then it's Etienne Bax, then it's the reigning champions, and then it's Valen, Valentin Giro. Giro is going, and Van Lucana alongside Etienne Bax. Bax is looking, Bax has got a problem. Oh no, Etienne Bax does have a problem. Hermans up through the inside. Looks yeah. like Marvin missed a gear or something well, in a rut. Yeah, and Ben was nearly over the rail. Yeah. He, he was thrown up in the air. So we go back to as it was Arne Dierkins, Davy Sanders, and looks as though Hermans goes for the inside line and makes it stick. What did I say? Fancy Hermans. I thought he's going to have a go at this. He, he tried that one lap before and made it stick. Now he's past Sanders. He can see in front of him Arne Dierkins. Van Lukena now is in the sights of. Etienne Bax, who, as you say, has got second wind. I have no idea what the problem was, but he's back.
back on form again. Hermans is on the back of Arne Jürgens. This now is where the battle is, and we can see it. It's look how deep he's going to go. He's, side. Going, to go. he's yeah. going for it. He's alongside and he's on the inside line at the top. But no, Arne Jürgens can drive around the outside to get the power down. And oh. Van Luken are flying round there. Amazing. Fourth to second round the outside of Hermans. That was a that was a fantastic move. He saw Hermans do it the lap before, drive up through the inside and make himself a new run, and then pounced. So now can Marvin Van Luken and pounce on Arne Deerkins and get away from this battling quad? Nothing like going old school. Well, the technology got a bit wet, but I hope it's my laptop that didn't get wet. Right, here we go then. This is Bax on the back of... Oh! What was that? Sanders having a go. He saw an opportunity there and went for it. That was a little naughty, perhaps. A set of boxing gloves and we're going to the woods for ten minutes. It'll be handbags at dawn for these boys. Three and a half minutes before we see the two lap ball and Kasper Stupilis and Etienne back, Stupilis then having a look and back getting the power on again, again that line, no way through, can't be done. <laughs> I think Davy Sanders has frightened himself to death. Hermans is on Van Lukener, he's really there. This is Kern Hermans now, the battle for the lead. Now this will help Etienne Bax if Kern Hermans can pass the race leader and he's looking good, then that will do Etienne Bax a huge favour and take three points back. Six times of asking and he worked it. He made it stick that final time. And we've time. also missed this then. Hermans now is in front of Van Lukenen. Sensational stuff. So this is interesting. Van Lukenen has a problem. I think he's got a problem. He's talking to Ben van der Bogart. And it looks like, I don't know, has he got a sidecar wheel problem? I don't know. No, that looks OK. That, that looks, looks okay. OK. That looks OK. I think Ben's struggling with his goggles by the looks of it. His goggles are all caught up or something just on the left-hand side there. We're going to get a two-lap two board in a minute, and Etienne Bax will have these guys not so much in sight, but he's going to he's the next man down the road. New race leader, Kern Hermans and Nicola Mousset out in front here in what has been an absolutely sensational the clouds here it's been a, a miserable yesterday a bit of a cold damp morning but what what a super result for kern hermans and nicola Mousset. they know that they've earned themselves a great great result here the checkered flag it is then for hermans and Mousset. over they come victory in race two but if Van Lukenen brings it home, he's about 10 seconds behind. When he comes over, he will take overall victory here, and he knows what that means, and it will be, I suspect, the championship lead or the red plate. Marvin Van Lukenen is now six points clear of Etienne Bax. Kern Hermans in third, so he's done himself a power of good. Willemsen still there in fourth. Brave effort for him. Davy Sanders, Stuart Brown still sixth, Giro and Haller hanging in there, and uh, they are well clear of Arne Jerkins, who's moved up to eighth, did himself a power of good with today's ride. Varick and Compilati complete the top ten.